buongiorno. Today is day one of the winter 2019 biannual bibliothon. So I forgot to mention in my TBR video that I will be daily vlogging every day, but I won't be posting videos every day because, oh my gosh, during the Fall into Fantasy Readathon, like that was so much work. And I realized that my vlogs were so short every day anyway, so I think I figured out a solution that's going to work for me. So I'm going to vlog every day, but I'm going to combine the vlogs of day one and day two together, and then I'm going to combine day three and day four together, and then day five and day six together, and then I'm not vlogging on the last day, which means instead of six videos, you're going to get three videos. So currently it is... 3 p.m. and I have listened to a little bit of the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I think I only have like three hours left in the audiobook I know I started it a couple days ago so I'm totally cheating but the thing is for some reason my audiobook it keeps losing track of what place I was at so because it's bothering me so much I think I'm just gonna sit down do some coloring and do some things and just listen to the audiobook and just finish it so I think that's what I'm gonna do and hopefully I can finish The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo today and hopefully start another book. I maybe might start Princess Diaries or I might start my Year of Epic Rock. Not sure yet. We'll see. about three hours later and I just finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It was such an emotional read. It's about this starlet who was a huge Hollywood star and she's about 80 and she decides to tell the story of her life to this fledging journalist and it was so emotional because Evelyn Hugo, she's at the end of her life and she pretty much lost and outlived every single person she ever cared about in her life. So just reading about all of their deaths and how they affected Evelyn was so emotional. And I've literally the last hour of the audiobook was just her talking about all the deaths. And it was just, I was literally like bawling my eyes out the entire last hour of the audiobook. And then there was a huge big reveal at the end that I... Com was completely shocked by. Had started being foreshadowing towards the second half of the book, Evelyn Hugo started talking about this thing and she never said what it was, she just said it was this thing. I'm so emotional and I can't really give you coherent thoughts on what I thought about The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, but I loved it so much, so, so much. I think this is one of the best written books I have ever read in my life. Definitely going on my top favorite books ever. This book just means so much to me. I don't know if you can see like how red my eyes are, but like they literally hurt from like, crying so much because the last hour was, oh my god, it, it broke me, it broke me. I was planning to maybe do the Instagram challenge for the day, but but it's spine poetry and I did a whole video of that for the booktubeathon so I don't really see the point in doing that. This is the last update of the day. I will see you tomorrow. Buongiorno! Today is day two of the biannual bibliothon. So far I have not done that much reading but last night I ended up reading a hundred pages of the first Princess Diaries books and oh my god I had the best time. I forgot how over dramatic and ridiculous Mia can be. I was literally laughing the entire time reading Princess Diaries. I forgot how funny these books are. Oh my god I'm having the best time reading it and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish it for sure today. I did post today's challenge. It's going up very very soon so go check it out sometime later i haven't really read much i'm gonna go read at the library so i'll take you with me
It's about 10 p.m. and I finished Princess Diaries a few hours ago. I loved this one so much. It was so great going back and rereading this. As much as they did change a lot in the movie, they did still get a lot of core elements of the story. And there was even like a couple direct quotes from this. I guess the movie really isn't as bad as I always thought it was. I guess it's just because this has been so long since I read the first book in the series. I forgot a lot of things. I really want to reread the whole series now. I don't know if that will actually happen. It's my second book read for the readathon. So, oh, so far I've completed, I believe, four challenges. So for Evelyn Hugo, I completed the read a five star recommendation read and also read an adult book. And then for this one, I'm reading a book that got me into reading, which this technically didn't really get me into reading per se, but it was a significant book in my reading journey. And I also forgot to mention in my TBR video, this series is actually the reason why I wanted to read Jane Eyre. One of the books in the series, I don't remember which book, Grand Mare gives a copy of Jane Eyre to Mia and she tells her to read it. She talks about reading Jane Eyre in one of the books and really loving it. And because of that was why I wanted to read Jane Eyre all those years ago. And then Jane Eyre ended up becoming one of my favorite books of all time. So I would say this book is probably pretty significant, this series anyway, is very significant in my reading journey. And I could technically also use this for the challenge of reading a book with an ugly cover. Technically I've completed four challenges, three challenges, and it's only day two, yeah, and two books. I've read two books. It's day two, I've read two books, completed three or four challenges, I'm on no roll. I posted today's challenge video, I haven't done any of the Instagram challenges, but yeah. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, my next read is gonna be My Year of Epic Rock. The book is only 190 pages, so oh my god, I'm definitely gonna finish during the readathon. I'm gonna try to read some of it tonight. My goal is 100 pages, but most likely I'm probably only gonna get about maybe 50 pages, which is still pretty good. So hopefully if I can get some reading of it done today and then hopefully tomorrow I can finish this book. It's about this girl who's in seventh grade and she has a really terrible allergy to peanuts and her and a bunch of kids who also are allergic to peanuts start a rock band called the EpiPens. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? That's all for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what you thought about this new format of vlogging, of combining day one and day two together. Did you like the way that turned out or do you just prefer me vlogging every day? If you participated in the Biennial Bibliothon, tell me how you did day one and day two. And my social media links are all down below. My Twitter, my bookstagram, my Goodreads. Arrivederci! Mm -hmm.